you that are you struggling to conform to the new world while still wanting to honor the practices of your? Well, why not combine the new earthly traditions with those from the Kibawak? This simple to follow guide will help ease you into Simian culture. And as for the humans in the audience, perhaps you'll get some entertainment out of this or something i don't know maybe you get a kick out of me fumbling your culture maybe you'll get some kind of sick twisted pleasure from watching me make mistakes is that it you you just want to watch me suffer a poor innocent alien well i'm doing my best here i'm doing the best i can i lost my home and everyone who ever loved me the only people who survived were the ones who wanted me dead how unfair is that if you had to live for billions of years in a world you don't understand, surrounded by all the assholes who did you wrong, would you like it if I laughed at you then? Huh? Huh? Now, you may be wondering to yourself, what exactly is a Christmas? Well, you see, over 2,000 years ago, a baby was born in a stable, and everyone is still talking about it to this day. Every year to commemorate this momentous occasion, the humans like to celebrate with their own funny little traditions. Ah yes, what better way is there to celebrate than to chow down on a ridiculous amount of food? Food is a big part of what makes the holiday special. So here's a quick recipe of a Christmas classic with a kivik twist. Step 1. Find and kill the member of your household you hate the most. Step 1. Find and kill the member of your household that has the most meat on their bones. Step 2. Fillet the meat so you get a nice juicy rump steak. Step 3. Crush up some mushrooms, garlic and parmesan and slap them all over the meat. Step 4. Roll the steak up in some pastry until it's all snug like a little baby in a blanket. Then cover it with eggs or some shit. Don't forget to glaze the pastry with the blood of your enemies and poppy seeds. Step 5. Cook it in the oven. How long this will take depends on various factors such as what brand of oven you have, if your oven is gas or electric, and how big your victim's ass was before you butchered them. Step 6. Voila! Your wonder friend Wellington is complete. Now it's time to serve it to the rest of your family. Bon appétit, folks! Originating from the country of Germany, it is a long-standing Christmas tradition to bring a pine tree into one's house and decorate it. The usual simian decorations include small spheres called baubles, long ropes with sparkling material attached called tinsel, strings of electric lights, and an ornament on top, typically an angel, a star, or a fairy. But if you're looking for a tree to really make things pop this year, here's a simple Kivawakian craft you can try at home. Step 1. Find and kill someone named Holly. Step 2. Deck the walls with the bowls of Holly. Step 3. Dispose of Holly's body in a responsible manner so Ludwig doesn't throw a fit. Step 4. Admire your incredible handiwork and attention to detail. This display is sure to brighten up any Christmas tree and will have your guests... Ludwig, what the fuck are you doing? Lucy, it's for a video! God, get out of my room! At the end of the day, it's not about the food, or the decorations, or the presents, or the murdering. As nice as those things are, the true meaning of Christmas, as it always has been ever since that baby was born in a shed, is family. Coming together with all those people who love you to share joy and happiness as you celebrate the good times you had throughout the year, and look forward to the possibilities of the year ahead. Oh, what a touching sentiment. It's a shame I don't like any of you. That's why I put poison in the eggnog. Merry Christmas, everybody. So grow your beard out. Ignore what the others say. Grow your beard out. Put a little fur on your face. I can't stop thinking about how nice it will feel when my lips touch yours. So grow your beard out 
There's nothing wrong with the man that you can 